everyone, Caitlin here. Um, I figured this would be a good background since Christmas is coming. Um, we got a new fireplace and um, we I just love Christmas time and all the decorations. But um, I know that I said that I was going to do an update um, tomorrow when I got my lab results back, but uh, my poor baby Grayson, um, well she's not, she's my baby, but she's two. And um, she woke up this morning with um, some diarrhea and she doesn't feel like she has a fever, but she's just out of sorts, complaining that her belly hurts and she even asked to go back to bed and she had, um, she's been potty trained as you guys know for, you know, quite a long time now and she hasn't had any accidents like pooping since she was like, uh, 18 months or so and this morning she had a diarrhea accident in her pull up. So that's very unlike her. So I actually stayed home from work today to be with her. Um, but I am four weeks pregnant today, so that's why I decided instead of waiting until tomorrow to do the vlog, um, I'll just do a short little clip tomorrow with my new numbers for my HCG, HCG level tomorrow. Um, so I will just get into my four week vlog today. So, um, like I said, I am four weeks pregnant today. The baby is the size of a poppy seed and um it's growing at rapid rates right now and um symptom wise i have been um trying I, I i don't know if you guys can still tell but i'm still trying to get over uh, a cold i've had it probably since like last monday and um so i've had a cold and um my boobs are still pretty they're full and um, at times they're sore and at times they're not. Um, it really depends on what I'm wearing. Um, my stomach is still pretty bloated and um, full, crampy at times, um, but then it's also pretty bloated because I have started taking that progesterone again three times a day. And somebody asked me, I did leave it in the comments in the question that she posted, um, but for those of you who are interested, I take 200 milligrams three times a day of a Prometrium, which is progesterone. I take that three times a day. I also take baby aspirin three times, or once a day, I'm sorry, once a day for my um, blood disorder. That's what I took with Grayson's pregnancy and I did just fine. Um, and then I also uh, take my prenatal vitamin and then extra folic acid as well. So, um, but back to symptoms, uh, I like I said, cold, boobs, feeling sore. Um, not sore but full in my abdomen um trying to think here i do have that blurry vision and um that feeling like i'm almost drunk um like about an hour after i take my progesterone that's just a nasty side effect that that does have on me uh so i have to really space it um i take it first thing when i wake up in the morning so that while I'm still getting ready for work, that's when I'm feeling like that. So it's worn off by the time that I have to drive to work. And then I take it actually when I get back from my lunch break at work. So again, I'm not driving. And then I take it before I go to bed. So, um, symptoms, symptoms. I have been gassy. Um, I'm not really as constipated this pregnancy as I normally am. Um, I've actually had more like the opposite way. I know TMI, but like I, my stools have been more loose than constipated. And, um, I'm trying to think. And then I had, I don't know if I told you, I don't think I did, but last Monday would have been the day of my implantation. And, um, that's when my on my pregnancy or my ovulation app that I have, it said that I was supposed to implant last Monday according to ovulating on the 26th, so November 26th. And I know exactly when this little baby implanted. I had like sharp, almost like pinching like pains on my, it was in my lower abdomen, more on my right side um, so I'm curious in the ultrasound like where the baby implanted, 
but um I mean distinct it lasted for like 15 20 seconds I was driving in the car and it actually like took my breath away so I know exactly when this baby implanted it would have had to have been that and I mean it's such a it was just I mean a distinct feeling I called my mom uh, and told her and I mean that I know that's what I felt and um, then I started having some, you know, symptoms of pregnancy before I had a, my positive pregnancy test. And um, I was a little bit nauseous, like I told you guys a few days before I took my pregnancy test. But since those days, I haven't been nauseous. I haven't been getting sick, which is a very big turnaround for me. Because normally in my pregnancies, I'm pretty nauseous and um, I uh, get sick normally quite a bit. So that is a uh, plus side <laughs> for me. It's actually nice. Um, other, I'm like I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not as tired as I normally am during pregnancy. I am more tired than normal, but before I felt like I could sleep all day long, and now I don't have. I mean, I'm more tired than normal, but I'm not completely exhausted. Um, and normally Chinese food, this might sound silly, but in all of my, my three last pregnancies, Chinese food would make me so sick. I would throw up instantly after eating it, and that was one of my indicators of being pregnant. And um, with this pregnancy, I did just fine. So, um, no really other symptoms to report on. My uh, pregnancy test line is so dark now. It's actually darker. Um, it pops up instantly now as soon as um, my TMI, but as soon as my P is going across, it's instantly there and it's darker than the control line. And um, it's that gives me peace of mind. Obviously because we can't test our HCG levels every single day. Um, it, is, it, it just gives me such peace of mind watching my line get darker. Now I have to say, my line for these for this pregnancy showed up two days earlier than it normally would in my other in my other pregnancies I wouldn't even get a faint faint line until 10 DPO and with this pregnancy I got one at 8 DPO and I mean like I said in my video yesterday it was distinctly there and um, even comparing like my tests even now at like 10 11 12 13 and 14 dpo my tests compared to my pictures that i took of my test with like my pregnancy with grayson i would say they're twice as dark and so my lines are super dark this early i mean i'm not even supposed to start my period i was supposed to start my period today and my line is already 10 times darker than the control, or yeah, than the control line. So pretty happy with that.